hi everybody and welcome back to my channel today we have a cyber power 1000 avr that is showing full battery capacity however in the storm that just went through new hampshire we lost power and normally losing power this is enough to keep my personal computer on long enough to get either switched over to the solar inverter or the generator but in this case the computer shut off right away so what I'm going to do on the bench is simulate a very light load, a 40 watt light bulb. Battery power shows full. Shut off the power. It maintains it. 40 watt load. Already beeping. Battery's gone to half. Battery's empty. And it shuts off. So that is a bad battery or signs of a bad battery. So I figured I would walk you through real quick what it's like to switch or change a battery in a cyber power inverter or UPS. Flip it over here, it's four screws on the bottom. This is our battery. I give you a nice little handle. Pull off these two tabs, and there's our battery. So if we look at the battery voltage, we can show that that still shows like a full battery. I've already been through this and tested this. I just wanted to show you guys. But that shows 12.9 volts, which is a pretty topped off battery. So I was kind of surprised when I originally tested this and says this is this has got something wrong with it. So I decided to go a step further and break out a battery tester. To check the battery. Twelve point nine volts, twelve volt battery. It's out of the vehicle. This is a, a car battery tester, but it'll give us some information. These are AGMs. Cranking amps is the lowest I can put it, and it says it can measure that it can only produce forty seven amps, which is not nearly enough to to run the power required for a computer. So I ordered another battery on Amazon like everybody else <clears throat> I figured well we'll test this battery first voltage test 13.2 I don't know if you can see that put the battery tester on it Thirteen point two, twelve volt out of vehicle top post AGM, cranking amps hundred amps. Test it. One hundred sixty one cranking amps. That's a much more much more uh, capable battery. So we'll put it in. As you can see there's two little tabs here. I have to go onto these tabs. A snug fit to get them to go on. Put our cover back on. Four screws.
Okay, shows full power. Turn on our load. That was actually turned on on the battery. You could just see it getting brighter as it switched back. We kill power. Running the load, no problem. Notifying you that the, the power is out. Battery stays in full position because it, it's a good battery. So everything appears to be good. Anyway, thank you for coming by the channel. It was a quickie today. I just wanted to show you what it was like to replace the power or the battery in a CyberPower 1000 AVR.